Hey everybody, this is Jason with Great Acres Pest Control. You have to forgive me, I've been suffering from a little bit of a head cold. I don't know what it is. We had a lot of rain and stuff around. I don't know if it's mold in the air or what it is, I don't know. Um, but today, I want to talk about cockroaches. And I want to talk about, uh, mainly, specifically, this is something that I'm, I'm actually putting this in my Cockroach Monday series, but... Uh, just so you know, if, if you want to see any other videos about cockroach control, I do have a Cockroach Monday series that I put out a few months ago, and it was on Mondays, and I did one video every Monday to try to teach people about cockroaches and how to get rid of them themselves. Now, this question was actually asked on my YouTube <clears throat> excuse me, about how to get rid of cockroaches in electronics like playstations computers xboxes wii's you know all these different things cockroaches love electronics anything that's plugged in the wall not just cockroaches ants will live in them too but uh cockroaches really like electronics and the reason they like them is because they give off heat they like to get into refrigerators. They like to get into microwaves, ovens. They like in really, really infested homes. You'll find them in living rooms, living inside uh, PlayStations, uh, computer systems, uh, DVD players, VCRs. If you still have them, they they live in those too. Um, and a question: the question that was asked was, as as pest control, how do you kill roaches in these electronic devices? Because you don't you can't just take raid and spray it inside your playstation you destroy your playstation um or your computer for that matter and you could cause a fire so hopefully at the end of this video i would have explained a little bit on what to do now what i normally recommend people do that you have to treat your home for for roaches crack and crevice which is when you take your your pesticide tank you go around and you treat all the cracks around, like your baseboards, your uh, quarter round, your crown molding. Um, you treat, you know, if the if the paneling on the wall is starting to separate from the wall, treating the crack of the paneling where it separates, because roaches love to live in that. Take your pictures off the wall, treat the backs of your picture frames and stuff. You could use bait. You could take like a Max Force gel bait or Advion or uh, what's another good one? Advion. Um, shoot, Vendetta. Vendetta's good. Um, and you can put just a little bit, just like a pea size, like, you know, just a little bit, a little bit, all it takes on the back of your picture frames and hang them back up on the wall. And, you know, you need to start control in the house. You need to try to, you could actually, this is, this is a technique I used to do years ago. I still do it sometimes is use two different chemicals. Now, if you have two different spray tanks, if you're a do it yourself or you may only have one spray tank, go out and buy a second spray tank. Um, and the reason I say this is because if you use something like, I, I recommend, this is a chemical I recommend for cockroaches, I'm going to tell you right now. Um, oh, now I can't, oh, Alpine, Alpine WSG. WSG stands for Water Soluble Granule. It's a dry pesticide that you mix to a gallon of water. So you'll take your water, you mix about half full in your tank, you put in your active ingredient, which is Alpine, and then you fill the tank rest away with water, shake it up real good, make sure it's really well dissolved and agitated, and that's a tank of Alpine. Now, I use that a lot for cockroaches and ants, fleas even you can use it for. It's really good pesticide. And then you'll want to use something like, and this is what you'd use in your other tank, because Alpine is a non-repellent pesticide, which means the roaches don't know it's there. So what I do is I use the Alpine in the kitchen, in the bathrooms, the places where they're, because German cockroaches are attracted to water. Now that's what we're talking about. We're talking about German cockroaches here. German cockroaches are attracted to water. So if you treat your kitchens and your bathrooms around your water heaters, places like that with the, the Alpine, which is what they want to be around. They want to be around the water source. They don't know the chemicals there. So they'll crawl into your kitchens, into your water heaters and stuff, and they'll crawl through that chemical and they'll die. In the rest of the house, every other room of the house, bedrooms, living rooms, computer rooms, you'll want to use something like Demand or Demon or Talstar, something like that, because they are highly repellent. They're pyrethroids, they're highly repellent, and they will chase the bugs out of those rooms into the rooms they naturally want to be in, like kitchens, bathrooms, water heaters. Um, and... 
I've found that that's just a really, really effective way to kind of force the roaches when they're really infested and they're in other rooms. It forces them to go into those areas where they're, then you can kind of target and get rid of them easier. It gets them out of your entertainment systems and your, your video game systems, your computer systems, your electronics, things like that. And it forces them into other rooms where they want to be. So, um, if you bait, now you could take some bait, like gel bait, um, which a lot of people know what it is. It's, it's, uh, it's it kind of looks like peanut butter. A lot of people call it peanut butter, uh, that it kills roaches, roach peanut butter, roach butter. Um, there's lots of different names I've heard people use for baits, but if you take a little bit of that that bait, like I said, about a pea size amount, very little. You don't need these long lines. You do these, like I've, I've gone in homes and they'll have a long line of smeared bait all over everything. It is just nasty. It looks gross and it's not going to work. Roaches don't live together typically. That You might find clusters of them, 10, 15 of them clustered together, but they live all over. If they find a crack, they'll go in it, they'll live in it. If you Put a little bit of bait in that crack if you haven't put any pesticide. Now, don't put pesticide in around your bait because you will contaminate your bait if you if you mix pesticides with bait. So you take a little bit of your bait, you put it over in a crack where you know the roaches are living, and they'll eat it. You could do that with your PlayStations. You could do it with your computer systems. You could do it with your entertainment systems, like on the back of your television, around your cords where they go into the TV. If you've seen roaches going into your TV, you could put a little bitty dot here and there on the back of your television. And what that's going to do, because you can't spray inside your TV, that's going to entice the roaches to come out because they're attracted to the bait. So they'll come out, they'll eat the bait, and then hopefully they will die. So that is my best recommendation. Uh, I have used dust, but I don't want to recommend using dust because you can ruin, if you're not really careful, you can ruin your electronics with dust. So I don't recommend it. I recommend bait. Bait does work. I've actually been able to eliminate cockroaches in restaurants uh, using bait, and it's the number one tool for exterminators, and I can't stress it enough. You need to make sure your bait's working. If you've been applying your bait for a month or so and it's not really making a difference, you need to switch and use a different ingredient because your roaches are probably immune to what you're using. So I hope this has been an, an informative video. I hope this has helped answer that question. Um, you guys have a really great day. Uh, I really appreciate all the love and support you guys show me on my channel. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to ask. I have a Facebook. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Green Acres Pest Control, LLC. Look me up, and I, uh, I don't mind answering any questions that you got. Hopefully, this has helped. I want to thank your, my Patreons. Uh, I got two, David and... At the time of this video, I have two anyway. So if you're not listed, I'm really sorry. But uh, David and Jabron, you guys are really awesome. I really appreciate it. Uh, amazing people. Um, I take my Patreon, and what it is is it's a way that people can donate to needy families in Virginia who can't afford their own bed bug service. I take all the money from Patreon. I put it in a separate account, and I put it towards these people's homes so that they can get the help they need because bed bugs are an epidemic. They're very expensive to get rid of. The chemicals are expensive. I can't afford to do it for free, but I mean, I have done a few for free, but I just can't afford to keep doing that for free. I have to be able to afford to do it somehow to help these people. And so I take that money, I put it towards their pesticides. A lot of times I will just do the labor myself and I don't even charge for it. So uh, just to try to help people out, that's what this channel is for. I wanna help people. Um, if you're just coming across this video, think about subscribing to my channel. Go search through my videos. I've got do-it-yourself for just about any problem that you could ever have. If you uh, have any questions, if it's something that you can't find on my channel, ask me. I'll make a video about it. That's where this video came from was a question. Somebody had already had a PlayStation 4 get ruined by cockroaches. And so hopefully I can stop that from happening in the future and you guys can you know, play your games, watch your TV, and even eat your food without having roaches crawling all in it. Because my goal is to have affordable pest control for everybody. Even if you're not, I mean, I'm sorry, my daughter is using, she's using a chalkboard. And it's messing with my head. I'm not good at doing this where there's sounds around. But anyway, <laughs> hopefully this has helped you guys. Don't forget, look me up on Facebook. Send me a message. 
I answer my Facebook messages all the time. So hopefully this has been helpful. You guys have a really great day. I really appreciate it. Like and subscribe and share the video. And you guys have a really great day. Thanks a lot.